Hello everyone, Lizardfree321 here, and today I will be showing you the newest build of Windows 10. This is build 10074, and this is my choice of a background. This is not the default settings. I customized it. I'm currently running it on a physical computer, not a virtual machine, with these specifications. As you can see, it says trial version there. My screen recorder doesn't work on Windows 10, unfortunately. Um, so... Windows 10 is Microsoft's attempt to make the average consumer love Windows. A lot of people say they love Macs and hate Windows. They want it to be the opposite. And they're doing a good job with it so far. They have a Windows feedback application where they actually listen to the public. You can send feedback. You can go to meet too if you like this thing like yeah I've me too a lot of, a lot of things and because of that they've added a lot of features like this is the newest build so they just added this blurred effect and I really like that they added it it's also customizable you can disable the transparency if you want it's very customizable and as you can see they added the start menu back you can, if you like the Windows 8 one, you make it full screen. It's very close to how it was. Yeah, and there's the Metro, as they used to be called, or the tile applications over here, the not tile applications over here. Um, and it looks pretty good. That's what they have there. You can go to the lock screen up there. There's a new lock screen. This is what it looks like now. They changed the backgrounds a lot because they're still fighting the perfect one. And as you can see, it's a little different. But yeah, they've been doing a good job. They made a lot of changes. Like they changed all of these icons over here. They made that a different color. They added this notifications thing where no notifications say there or show there and there's a clear all thing there's tablet mode and all these things like there's this nice brightness thing right here which I'm on a lap this is running on a laptop so that's really helpful because when the uh, currently the brightness buttons are not working I would have to right click on that click on power options that was just a pain this makes it a lot better there's a lot of things like here. And there's even a interesting mode called tablet mode that makes it, it does a really good job of making it really good for tablets and great for two-in-one PCs so that if you're going into uh, just touch screen only, this is great. Um, or it also detects if you remove the keyboard, it will ask you, do you want to go into tablet mode? If you say yes, it'll go into this mode. This mode makes everything full screen, like literally everything, and it makes it just like a Metro or a, a Windows application, a full screen Windows application. And you can disable it um, just by going back here and pressing tablet mode. And it works really nice. You also have a new settings. Um, thing right here and it it it's basically the replacement of the control panel and there are a lot of settings and it's really good like tablet mode there are settings for tablet mode there's this cool battery usage thing which actually tells you what is using what amount of um, el the electricity it crashes a lot though Um, and there are a lot of settings. You have to get to know it. Luckily, it has a search bar right there. And one nice feature I like modifying is color. A lot of color options. Like you can turn off that color, which it currently just glitched. There we go. Or it's gray, which looks good. You may want a different color though. There's um, you can make it 
choose from the background, but I personally does, don't think that they do the best job sometimes picking the right color. Um, but yeah, you can choose the color you want. Like, I wouldn't recommend this one for this background, but you can choose it. You can also, um, you can also make it turn off transparency, which I personally wouldn't do unless your PC really lacks performance. But yeah, no transparency if you want. Another change in Windows 10 is new icons. Like, you can even see that that's square now and luckily still transparent. They had, they tried a version that wasn't transparent. It was very ugly, in my opinion. Um, and the other ones are visible here. They're very yellow, but you might like, you might like them. They also added this quick access page, which just shows the recent files and frequently used folders. You can pin and unpin them from there, which is good. I personally prefer this PC. Yeah, and another change that they added was different window borders. I really think that they need to add the transparency like the start menu. It, it looks awesome there. Not so much up here. But they also made it one pixel thick, which is a good addition, especially if you have a lot of things. I added Chrome on here. It was not default. Um, and it's not fully compatible, but as you can see, the window border works with this. They also have a new web browser called, um, it says Project Spartan, but that's just its code name. Its real name is Microsoft Edge. And it's a good browser, it seems pretty fast, and it's um, the replacement of Internet Explorer, which few people liked. Like, the Shoutscraft website loads pretty quickly there, at, quicker than Chrome, uh, which is pretty good. Um, you may like it. It's really their attempt to make you like their browser because so many people use Chrome and Firefox now and just ditch IE. They sh they they need to change that. And this is they're doing a good job making sure that that happens. But I personally would add transparency and make it look a bit less boring than and it looks in my opinion right now. Another thing they added is Cortana. You can search with Cortana. You don't need to use Cortana, but you can. It's currently glitching. Yeah, it's just refusing to work right now, unfortunately. But this, the new search actually searches the web and this PC, uh, which in my opinion isn't a necessary feature, but it works. And it also has all of the Cortana features, which, if you like voice commands, is very nice. Another thing they added is virtual desktops, which is really nice for many power users. Like in one desktop, I'll have this open, and in the other desktop, I'll have Spartan open, or Microsoft Edge open. Uh, and you can switch by them, between them. You, it's customizable if you want all of them to show in the taskbar, no matter what desktop you're in, or if you want per desktop. I current, it's currently in show everything mode, and it switches between the desktops to go back and forth. And also with the Alt tab, it's currently in only this desktop mode, but you can have it set in a mode where it will switch between, it'll show it for all desktops, which is very good because some people like one way and some people like the other. And if they fixed it one way, people would really hate that. It's really nice that they added um, this. You use the task view. You can drag things in between desktops or drag them into a new desktop. If you want to create another one, it's it's pretty good. They're doing a great job with Windows 10 so far. Another change is a new store. There's actually going to be a store for business and a store for the average person. This uh, store is a good amount. 
better than the current one, in my opinion. And it's, here's what it is right here. Uh, pretty good. Yeah. And one last thing I'm going to cover before we leave is no longer are you forced to full screen anything. Everything can be in a window, like the mail app here, or hmm, this, the, as you could, the store app can also be in a window. It's really good that way. It would be terrible if they forced, continued to force, all, force all users in in. Uh, full screen mode. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like, please, and subscribe for more videos. Bye!